Hi, Leo. Welcome to October. <clears throat> they are doing yard work outside, so it sounds really loud every now and then. I was going to wait it out, but they've been doing it all day, so I feel like you might as well, right? And um, you kind of need distractions right now. <laughs> you could probably use a little bit of a distraction, huh? So, the earth sign, um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn is still very much around you. I don't think that you, you still have no idea what to do with this person. It's like, I mean, you could either stay or you could go, honestly, I'm tired of thinking about it. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, and... Just the fact that you have to think about it and give energy to it is taking away from your manifestation right now. So, I sort of want to say that if there is somebody around you that you just, like, you're confused about, they're giving you mixed signals, you don't know what to do about their energy, whatever it is, it's time to just, like, let it organically flow out of your life. You know, it's not so, it's not worth your energy to fight for something that you don't even know that if you want anymore. Maybe there was a time when you really wanted it, but if this person's flightiness continues to do what it's doing, I mean, you got better things to do. You really do. You have seeds to plant. You have some manifestations to tend to, and it's time for you guys to go out and have a good time. Virgo season was really hard. Like, let's be real. Virgo season, and I'm a Virgo, and I'm I'm 100% saying Virgo season, that, that was like the hardest season for me this year. Well, maybe Pisces season too, but I have my own personal reasons why Virgo and Pisces seasons are hard for me to deal with, but it, it feels like Virgo season was especially hard for everyone. So now we're in Libra. So let me show you. I have the Queen of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, and the Six of Pentacles. So if you don't even know if you want to give your energy anymore to this person, then stop. If you have to question, do I even want to deal with this person anymore? If you even have to ask yourself that question, then don't deal with them anymore. If they are the ones that are being wishy-washy and they don't know if they want to be in your life or out of your life or whatever, mixed signals are an automatic no. The Magician, the Seven of Pentacles, the Three of Cups. So, I feel like you are, dare I use the words, putting yourself out there. You're attracting your soul tribe. You're attracting the people, in, like right now, you are attracting the people into your life that will be instrumental in your spiritual growth. Or in your growth period. So I really want you to pay attention to what you've been manifesting and the seeds that you've been planting. And I want you to pay attention to the energies that are falling away. And think of it this way. If you feel rejected by this earth energy, if this earth energy, if you feel like it's rejecting you, I want you to ask yourself, do I really want it to begin with? And if you answer yes, ask yourself why. Why do I want somebody who's going to be in and out of my life and in and out of my life and in and out of my life? And like is never going to just like be in my life that I don't have to ask, like question. Why do you want to give your energy to that anyways? And mixed signals are an automatic no and a rejection does not mean that you, like, don't take it personally. Take it as a gift from the universe. 
if something doesn't work out, it's a clear sign that that is not your path. And to fight for it to work out is only going to make you miserable. Because that's not the direction you're supposed to be going in. You see? So, let's clarify the Queen of Pentacles. So, I am doing this self-alignment course workshop. It's actually tomorrow on October 5th. And I'll be doing two more towards the end of the month, but I'm really excited for it. And it's really going to help us, um, help you guys it, be consciously aware of the six ways that you're holding yourself back from living your best life, including people, right? And then we're going to figure out how to stop doing that and how to stop sabotaging ourselves. It's a two-hour course. It's going to be really fantastic. And if you haven't joined us for the Meditation and Reiki Healing Circles, those are every week. It's either on the new moon, full moon, or on a Sunday evening. So if it's not the week of the full moon or new moon, it's on a Sunday evening. Hope that made, made sense. All right, Leo. So we have the King of Swords on the Queen of Pentacles. Cancer, Cancer got that same exact combination. So y'all are dealing with the same kind of person that is very, very particular, but is silent. Like, it's like the strong, silent type. They're very stoic. And, um... It's like my way or the highway, right? My way or the highway. Now, here's the thing, Leo. I even almost called you guys cancer. So, on the Knight of Wands, we have the Ten of Pentacles. And I feel like this person has got you questioning your stability. And how you're supposed, like where you're supposed to be stable, how you're supposed to be stable, like all the things, right? How do I continue my stability? What do I need to do? Do I keep this person in my life? Are they part of my, the, all the questions, right? You're giving way too much energy to thinking about that. And instead of trying to figure out, because I also feel like this Ten of Pentacles is about what is my purpose? Where am I going? What am I supposed to be doing? How am I going to get there? How do I make my money? How did this, 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 stop. When you get into the manic side of your life where you can't stop thinking and you're like, oh my God, I don't even know where to look anymore because I can't stop thinking. You need to like pull yourself back and say, instead of going through the chaos and the hustle of all of it, I need to align to what I've been trying to manifest and plant my seeds, right? Which means you start focusing on the positive stuff. You start focusing on your big dreams that you want in life. Being content where you are right now does not mean that you're settling. Being content with where you are right now is telling the universe, I am open to whatever you're going to give, give to me. I am okay with where I am right now, but I have big dreams and I am open to whatever is for my highest good. You know? Let's see what the Six of Pentacles is. Because I feel like the Six of Pentacles is you just giving a lot of yourself. You know? You're just giving, you're giving, you're giving so much of yourself. And I feel like that's just creating more stress and chaos. The more you give of yourself, the harder it is for you to fill up your own cup when you're not paying attention to you. And then you end up being the person that's begging for attention, time, affection, whatever, right? And then it's all unbalanced. It's all super unbalanced. So in the self-alignment workshop, we're going to talk about the balance. And if you can't, if you can't watch it live tomorrow, 
It's at 1 p.m. Central. If you can't watch it live tomorrow, I'll be recording it. So even if you register and you can't watch it live, you'll still get it recorded. But that's what it, this is what I'm saying is you, if you are giving way too much of your energy and you don't know how to stop, come join us for the meditations, come join us for the workshop. Let's see what this magician is because I'm curious what you're trying to manifest because you you clearly have a really good idea of what you want everything you want yourself back the sun you're manifesting new beginnings page of pentacles and the sun you're manifesting new beginnings um and you're also recognizing where this earth sign is just not cutting it in these new beginnings that you're manifesting. And you just, you simply don't have time for it, Leo. I'm sorry to tell you, but I don't feel like that earth sign is good enough for you. I say that and we get justice on the Seven of Pentacles. It's, it's a very interesting mix when I hear in my mind, you will reap what you sow and you will sow what you reap. Meaning um, what goes around comes around as above, so below. Karmic retribution. You know how people say karma is a bitch? It can be. But karmic retribution can be beautiful. Because then you can see in all the ways that you've done it right. You've, you've lived life right. Because if you keep thinking that you, don't, that you are not living life correctly. Or you keep thinking that life is shitting on you over and over and over again. It may be that you're noticing that not necessarily that this earth sign isn't good enough for you, but are you wondering if maybe this earth sign is just here to, to teach you a lesson and how to grow and be yourself by being honest? King of Swords, even if their honesty isn't fun to listen to, um, and if you think that life is hard to live, if you're like, my life is really, really hard, and I don't even know what my next move is, and I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing, or why, or how. I feel like you're focusing on the wrong thing. And instead of focusing how everything has gone wrong, I want you to start focusing on the things that have gone right. Maybe I'm the earth sign that's telling you the truth that's not fun to hear. I mean, I hate to be that person for you, but I kind of resigned myself to that position. And I'm okay with it. I know that spirit... that that I intuitively get guidance to help others, whether that makes them feel really good or whether that makes them feel really uncomfortable is up to the lesson that they have to learn, you know? But I feel like you're attracting your soul tribe right now, Leo. And with this Three of Cups, oh, or, or, you're um, realizing either you have somebody else or the earth sign has somebody else. Who knows? It's all up to whatever's going. Because I have the three of swords on the three of cups. Clearly, there's a third party situation here. And I don't go straight to a third party situation with the three of cups. It depends on what cards come with it. And then we have judgment at the bottom of the deck. 
with the Queen of Cups. So there are many, many people around. Who's that for you? Nine of Swords and the Four of Wands and the Two of Cups. Okay, Leo. Here's the thing. If you're worried about your stability and you're banking your stability on a relationship, um, that relationship is probably not stable because it's very codependent. Okay? A relationship cannot be balanced and stable if it's codependent. If you are basing your worthiness and how you feel about yourself on another person, or a job, or your environment, or the things that are going on, then that means that there needs to be something within yourself that you find where, where you can find some worthiness within. Because clearly, your anxiety over, with the Nine of Swords, the Four of Wands, and the Two of Cups, your anxiety over the things that are going on in your life, or the, the people that you've surrounded yourself with, is like at an all-time high and all you're trying to do over here is manifest your best life and you're like I don't understand where I'm going wrong you're focusing on the wrong thing and the universe is trying to show you how you're focusing on the wrong thing but every time the universe tries to remove something out of your life or tries to get you to go to you know take action on something and it, and it goes wrong, you instantly retreat instead of being like, okay, I realize that that wasn't supposed to go the, the way that that was supposed to go. And you try and fix it, right? Every time you try and fix something that's supposed to be broken, you just do the vicious cycle thing. Stop trying to fix things that are supposed to be broken. If it's not working in your life, it's supposed to be broken. And that doesn't include the things that are actually working, but you just don't like them. But it's working for you right now, because that's where you're supposed to be right now. I hope for you that you're able to um, just give yourself permission to say, you know what, I am human and I have a lot of things to work on. It's very interesting. You have a very interesting month ahead for you. And I don't think it's necessarily going to be bad. I just think that you need to trust your instincts, like really, really trust yourself and trust where you're going, you know? And don't let other people have control over your emotions. And don't let your environment have control over your emotions either. And if that's something that is hard for you to do, then meditation is like the answer to everything. And um, we meet once a week. Also, I am offering a pre-order um, for the six months 2020 January through June. If you pre-order now your six-month forecast for 2020, you will also get December. So, and this is only for, I'm only doing it for 20, 20 people. And I think there are like 13 left. And I just announced it like two days ago. So, um, get your six-month 2020 forecast. Uh, and I will be scheduling those the first two weeks in November. So, I love you guys. Take care of yourselves. Have a wonderful October. I will see you. Hopefully, I'll see you for the, med the meditations. And um, I'll see you for the love readings mid-month. Bye.